The St. Bernard Project, SBP, a U.S. nonprofit disaster recovery organization, is piloting the project to the tune of 600,000 U.S. dollars. The plant is currently at Bragg's Cane Hall location where a ribbon cutting ceremony took place yesterday. It is expected that when the plant becomes operational, it will reduce cost and time in making of blocks using upcycled volcanic ash. We're saving 15% on the cement that we have to import from overseas. Over our 16-week pilot program, that's going to save us a thousand bags of cement in production to make concrete blocks. So we're very thankful for this partnership. We're looking forward to getting this up and running, to helping start the reconstruction that's already been ongoing and hopefully scale this for the future. A demonstration of the use of equipment was done, after which SBGTV spoke with Stofflet on the sidelines. He is confident that the project will be a success. SBP did once we tested the volcanic ash, understood the suitability. So for basically the last year and a half, we've been doing testing and setting up the site, right? So we finally completed the site setup yesterday. Everything is turned on and fully functioning. We've had to do some adjustments to the machinery once you import it, right? It comes from the factory, so there's just some small things you have to do. What we're gonna continue doing this week and next week is an extensive training program for the Braxa crew that's gonna be working with us throughout this project. And then SBP, we raised money from our international donors to fund this project for 16 weeks. So over that 16 weeks, what we'll do is we'll produce 2,000 blocks every day, 10,000 blocks a week. So for 16 weeks, that's going to be 160,000 blocks that will be made available for the reconstruction of either infrastructure or homes on the island. Toflet is hopeful that the pilot project can be used by other countries that have volcanic ash. Braxa currently makes blocks manually. Its CEO, Ken Bartholomew, is thankful to SBP as not only it will save them money and time, but that several persons will be gainfully employed. Now with this plant that is going to produce um, when full capacity to 2,000, we initially will be adding five persons to that staff in the initial stage. And um, we are expecting as we go along, we may need to add persons because then we are looking at the curing period and how you move around, then the, the packing away of the finished product and the storing, and then we have to move on the different trucks and so forth. So that volume of blocks, we expect that we will definitely have to um, engage more persons. The CEO added that there are still about 700 homes to be repaired and built by Braxa and the building of blocks with a new plant is timely. So after this this arrangement with SBP is ended, this plant will be solely Braxa so they will be with us for 16 weeks doing the actual training, the maintenance, the whole process and so forth and ensuring that we are, we are up to standard with the operations and thereafter it will solely be with us to continue producing blocks. Bragg's CEO says the blocks are to be used internally and will not be for sale. Larissa Pugsley-Kid, SPG TV News.